Kodoko. Hey guys, uh, got a little review for you here. Um, this is on the Spyderco Meerkat. Um, this is the Sprint Run version, um, opposed to the regular version. Uh, differences being blade steel and the color of the FRN handles. Um, this is one of my favorite uh, carry knives um, at work, my EDC knife. Um, it's small, it's light, it's just, you know, an excellent little knife for something small. Um, give you a little rundown on this sucker here. Um, <clears throat> blade length is 1 and 15 16 inches. Um, length closed is 3 and 1 quarter inches. The cutting edge is 1 and 5 eighths inches. Here, here. This is a full flat grind. Um, your blade thickness is 3 32 of an inch. Um, you know, it is a VG10. Let's see the blurriness there. It is made in Siki City, Japan. Um, you know, just my impressions on this uh, little knife is uh, the wire clip is, is really excellent. Um, you know, I'm with John Wayne on the uh, the whole love of this pocket clip because it is not only is it less metal to deal with, but uh, you know it holds really good. Um, it is left and right side uh, reversible for tip down only. Um, it is a low low riding uh, pocket clip. This is really look guys. This is how it rides in your pocket. You know, nothing sticks out with the wire clip. Which is one of my you know greatest things for, for work um, since I do you know work in a hospital you know nice or not you know what somebody wants to see so uh, you know with it just riding a paperclip you know people would know the difference between it being a knife and a pen um, it is a uh, you know you got a full back spacer here it's all stainless steel stainless steel liners um, you know. Um, it's it's I'm not gonna say it it's skeletonized liners it is um, you get one pin holding it all together because the cool thing about the mirror cap that really kind of drew me to it was the mechanism that it uses to lock and close um, and this is what makes it such a fun little knife uh, when you uh, you know when you open it. Just find somebody, you know, I had some guys at work that were looking at it, and I was like, well, why you got it there? Why don't you try to close it? I like, try this. They look back here. They look in here. It doesn't close. Oh, but it does. You have to, you know, this one incorporates uh, Spyderco's Phantom Lock. The uh, Phantom Lock, you know, is run by this right here. You put your finger here, and on the other side, push this scale forward if you can see that guys push it forward see it move and when you do that it closes um, as it opens you can see move forward um, and then if you can see here on the top the spring moves up and catches like a traditional lock back knife it's just you your opening mechanism is this scale on the left side. Um, I mean, just an overall really cool knife. Um, I enjoy the the uh, the uh, bluish grayish FRN on this versus just the plain old black. Um, and then of course, like I said, you got an upgraded steel. You got VG10, which is I think a lot better than Aussie. Aussie is terrible, but you know, if you got the choice for the same price, you know, go for it. Um, just an overall excellent knife. I don't think this one will be leaving my collection. You know, like I said, I don't have access to a lot of spider coes in my area, so you know, I get them, I try them, and sometimes they leave. Uh, such as my U.S. Endura is. Um, not that I don't like it. It's just that I cannot bring myself to use it, and I don't want a knife in my collection that I can't, you know, stick in my pocket and take with me. But um, just a little overview of that knife, guys. Um, you know, it's an excellent little knife. If you're looking for a small uh, EDC, you know, if you're going to use it as an everyday carry, I would probably carry a larger blade to go with it um, because it is such a short blade. But if you live in, in you know, an area like 
you know, Chicago or somewhere where, you know, Spider-Crow made the Chicago strictly for that because you can't carry anything over two inch blade. This will make an excellent little knife for that, uh, being such a short blade. But, um, I guess that's all I got to say about this little knife. And, uh, if you got any questions, guys, feel free to ask and I'll make a, you know, a response to it. But, uh, you know, um, just, uh, you know, I guess lost my train of thought there. Um, you know, again, it's just a great EDC if you're looking for something small. And I would recommend right now if you can get out there and get it to find the Sprint Run version. Uh, there's still plenty floating around on the internet. I don't think it's all that over of a popular knife, but um, you know, from what I saw on the internet, it's it runs about maybe five dollars more than the regular Meerkat. So. You know, I would get this versus the regular one. But, um, alright guys, till next time, see you later.